When making forms in BallGrid, you have the ability to make custom emails and actions. Examples of these are email notifications, success messages, or redirects. Each action that you create applies to the form that you're editing or developing in the Build Your Own Form tab. We'll now show you how to create these three types of actions. As you see, I've already logged into my BallGrid dashboard. Then we're going to click the Forms link here. When you do that, you'll see all of your forms listed. In this case, I'm going to be editing the Form 1. Keep in mind that the forms that you have listed here will differ based on the inspiration you chose or how you're setting your website up. But in my case, I'm going to be adding these custom form actions to Form 1, and I'm going to do that by mousing over Form 1 and clicking Edit. From here, you're going to be on the Build Your Form page. I'm going to change to the Emails and Actions tab. Here you'll see any existing emails and actions. I currently don't have any. I'm going to click Add New to create my first one. The first one I'm going to set up is this email action. It should be selected by default. Go ahead and give your action a name. The from name is who the email will appear to be from. Go ahead and enter that. The from address is the actual email address that the email will appear to come from. And I'm going to change this to admin at example.com. The to address is going to be the person you're sending the mail to. In my case, I'm going to select the email field, which the customer is going to fill in. Give your email a subject. And then at the bottom, you could fill in the email message. Once you've done that, scroll to the bottom and click the Save button and that will save the settings. Notice the action updated message and this means my first email action has been created. And now you know how to create an email action in BoldGrid. And I'm going to show you how to create a redirect now. So go ahead and click Forms. You'll see your forms listed again. Once again I'm going to edit Form 1 and then I'm going to go back to the Emails and Actions tab you see the email notification I just created is now listed there we're gonna add new to set up this redirect here on the new action page we're now gonna select redirect from the type drop down here give your action a name and then enter the URL you want to redirect to once you've done that click the Save button again now this redirect action is available for this form and you will see the action updated message and finally, I'm going to go back to Forms and click that. And I'm now going to show you how to create a success message. I'm going to add this to Form 1 again by mousing over and clicking Edit. I'm going to go back to the Email and Actions tab. Here we're going to add a new one. You see the two actions I've already created listed there now. This time when you're on the New Action page, next to type click the drop down and choose the success message give the action a name I'm just gonna use success message in this example and then fill in the body once you filled in the body click the save button you'll see the action updated message and now you've successfully created your success message I'm gonna go back to forms again so I can show you back to form one and edit and then back to email and actions notice now you see my three new emails or actions